Don't want to take care. Sometimes the brown one's copper. This one's a steel one. Spouts off it. Got flagged by the city actually. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, I figured something along my way home. So I kind of never done. Okay, back in the yard. pounds there or close to we're running load probably Saturday I'm thinking this pill's full. Probably run the load Saturday. I'll take my security bars and all my other stuff. I think I've bought lots of bars there. Should make a good load. take the big truck and I just dump it automatically right away so the bars I'm gonna try to cut them if it's too hard to cut and use too many blades up then I'm not gonna bother but if it's if I can cut it fairly easy because I'll get highest price if I cut it down a little bit it could be a $50 difference a ton Almost debating on going to the uh, ball, ball to be turned. Just because I want to get rid of those light bulbs and stuff I have in there. Okay, let me get set up here. I'll just show you for tomorrow what we want to take. So I have a lot of stainless steel, but it needs to be cleaned. But once it's cleaned, I'll stick it all in here. We use this for stainless steel. So all this stuff can go in there. Forty-eight cents is a little too cheap, I think, at the moment. But it was as low as twenty-six cents. But it did start coming up a little bit. But it's, it's slowly climbing higher. But should be a lot more. Like I have uh, this is stainless steel here, full. I have stainless steel here, right here. I could probably have 500 pounds pretty easy. Might try to, try to sell this, but <coughs> there's too many fire bands everywhere. You can't really burn nothing. Not just fire hazard, it's just pollution hazard too. You don't want you burning nothing. That's the problem. Is it clean? So not too bad, right? I want to get real. Some screws and stuff here. Plastic and screws. Yeah, 
Glad to get, uh, glad to get rid of all that dirty aluminum. It just everything stunk. Like oil and gas and stuff, right? Even though there's nothing in it, it's just still has a res residue smell. So it's cast here. I have a couple of big containers of cast. I kind of might want to get rid of this here. I'm not sure what I'm going to pay for this one, but see, this one's contaminated. That's all. He said if it's clean but not contaminated, even painted, it'll pay higher. So I don't know. It's always something like tape or something. So we got aluminum here. This, 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 this. That's cast. But I think that's aluminum here. Ready. I should have enough for a bin for sure. And then this is ready too, all this. And then I have I like to get this cast ready actually if I get this ready. Whatever's here. It's mostly ready, it's just smashing a bit. And then I can take one good load of cast tomorrow. Maybe I'll take cast tomorrow and maybe all the wire. These are my tubs of wire. Four tubs full. This is a higher low grade. Right there. I think I want to get rid of this wire too. Hmm. Not sure what they're gonna. If I can take the one insulation off, it'll pay a lot more. Have to see. So I got most of the wire last night. It was dark, but I did get most of it. There's always there's always gonna be something kicking around a cord here, a cord there, right? But so get rid of those tubs tomorrow. The BX a little bit of there. Get that to higher low grade there. Well, as soon as I have time, I'll start stripping these. I'm gonna do exactly like uh, uh, Scrappy Grandpa did. Just cut these off right away, boom, where all the joints are. Just cut them all off. Instead of me fumbling a whole chair, I could fumble just the joints. You know, so I'll probably do that. I could cut these down big time right away, real fast. And then just have a bunch of dirty. And I could do it real quick. What circle boards mixing here? It's a mixed bag of everything in here. But it's a lot of stainless steel called sinks here. There, there, there. A lot of sinks. Put another microwave there. I want to strip. I could easily, like, a month of stripping here, easily. Just there's so much small stuff. And the small stuff, like, is that's what gets you the value. The copper, the brass, you know. kind of crap I guess just sold as is but uh, when you're looking around at stuff you kind of look at the big stuff and not the small small stuff some of this stuff even it is you can take it apart but sometimes you can sell the whole thing you get more money just because it's time consuming right and you gotta smash lots of it. a lot of that stuff is geared in there it's pressed in there and it's hard to get out so I just don't know what time the bottle recycle place closes. It's only weekdays, so maybe it's open later. So I have a good batch of copper still. With the price went a little bit higher. See, I was going to scrap this as is, but I thought maybe, you know, this will come off easy. But we'll see, we'll try. But a lot of times, when it's pressed in so many times, it's hard to get it out. 30 cents is good when it's really dirty, but when it's something cleanable, you just better just clean it. But 30 cents was good, especially for lawnmower engines. And transformers too, 30 cents, right? 
Got your motors. Piece of brass. See this one that has a hinge here has to pop the hinge off. It's a little bit tough. Okay, well I'm gonna see. Maybe get rid of the bottles would be great. Get rid of uh, some of the light bulbs and stuff. Get a cardboard box. Okay, hold on, step by. See these things here? Actually, brass pins in here. See, and they come off really easy. See? Might as well take them. Oops, someone broke. Might as well recover it. They'll probably recover it. It's machines that grind everything up, separates everything. I was recovered myself. Micro scrap in. This one broke. One or two don't seem like much when, when you start doing more and more. That's up. Oh, broke the bulb. Didn't break completely, just broke, broke the, the connection point. I don't know if they recycle these or not, but batteries here. more bulbs here but the problem is it's sitting in the rain not sure if they're gonna be full of water a TV set here I can go some of these I want to keep if they're not waterlogged On the 60 watts, it's a little too much power. The key.
keep these for now. Take that brass off. Okay, hold on. Okay, taking all these bottles. Um, not bottles, I mean bulbs. Some could have worked, but they sat in the rain, I think. They burn out after the you have circuit boards. Circuit boards get wet and you're in trouble. I might as well get rid of that. Bag of bottles here. all the bottles Any chance might be something over here if anything okay I think I'm gonna run that back hopefully I have time to do it at five o'clock okay we'll see if it's open I'll run it back okay stay tuned Okay, so Alcohol cans here. They gotta be separate than pop. Everything's gotta be separate. Well, this stuff is pop or what? Water. There's a spark of water here. They have alcohol ones like that, but.
That's pop, right? I don't think it's beer. Yeah. Pop, right? Sparkling is pop, right? Yeah. Very good. You don't take that one, do you? Uh, this is pop. Okay, pop. Yeah, okay. same. Okay, thank you. Gonna double check. It's still cut in here. Stinks. Milk can the milk jugs, forget it. Not worth getting. Consider. milk jugs no more. Not these kinds. Stink too much. Here we go. This one basically done. Dump this dirty water out. Okay, so plastic, plastic and pop can go, or juice, beer cans that are beer, glass has to go glass, the glass could be just glass juice, but beer would be, or wine would be different, like this is different here, so that's beer, glass, beer cans, well this is juice, or pop, but cans, so that's your pop cans, so anyways, we'll have to see what we get. This is, this is what they take cardboard here, cardboard here, just the different things like that you think would be water, but it's, hmm, I don't know why they don't take this. Oh, they might even take these here. Who knows? We'll go next time. 
Okay, well, we'll let you know what they took and what they didn't take. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I got uh, twenty dollars and fifty cents. So I think I had two, um, two hundred and five, two hundred five balls. I think so it wasn't too bad. I got all that basically one night while I was doing uh, street scrapping. So it almost paid for the gas. I would think for that night. I had lots of scrap metal too. So. You gotta take the bottles, man. That's what it pays for fuel, right? Pays for whatever, right? Fuel's so expensive, and if you see a bag of bottles laying around, might as well pick it up. Okay, no place I just saw a stove on the way here. Only problem is they couldn't take back these uh, light bulbs here. I don't know. They have to take the light bulbs. They're not taken here for a reason, but they usually they advertise you take it. But, um,. Uh, someone had a propane tank, a little small one, a lady here, so I said, I'll take it. They, they said no, but I'm just like I say, I'm going to collect them and then I'm going to make a little trap thing that will punch a hole in them, right? Something that's safe, punch a hole in them, and then take them to scrapyard. Scrapyard takes them, but, you know, with fires and stuff, they're always a little bit worried. He told me to put a hole in it, so I'll put a hole in it next time. Okay, let's see if that stove is still there. St stand by. It's probably broken because these guys they're always selling stove they're always have stoves here all the time I mean they sell them it's greasy this one that's a stove okay that's it Okay, well, another appliance down with a $3 cord, which is good. That's up. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, tomorrow should be more scrap runs, more things tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.